saying, y'all heard about McDonald's and them selling human meat? Check this out. You can't make this up. Now, we all know, right? McDonald's, share this, please, everybody. Make this go extremely viral for educational purposes only. Now, we know that McDonald's in, them, now in, in California now and now in a couple of other states have been forced to put the signs on their windows and their doors that let the people know none of this is real food. Mm-hmm. Or it's cancer. Okay, we've already established that. Mm-hmm. Now we know McDonald's is not serving real food, but bioengineered chemicals seasoned to taste like food. Yes. Right? They settling the lawsuits for them serving human meat. Whoa. Yes, you just heard me right. Now McDonald's, it's so, wait a minute. If someone, if, if, if uh, dozens of people were accused in my business of selling human meat to them, I'm not selling them nothing. Y'all ever notice McDonald's ain't never came out and denied it a single time. They settle in the lawsuits. Do you know what that means? You've been accused of serving individuals human meat and you are settling those lawsuits, which means in some ways you, you are admitting that, yes, we know we were selling human meat. Yep. Do y'all hear me? When is the world going to wake up and and ban? You are being conditioned the same way that they groom little children to do stuff. They groom in y'all to be addicted to that product, that meat. And then when it's gone, you're going to have the taste buds for it and you're going to turn into savages when you can't get it. Y'all don't even understand that y'all being groomed and conditioned by fast food chains. They McDonald's. I want to, I want to reiterate and repeat this McDonald's is settling the lawsuits of, of being accused of selling and serving human meat. Wake up, people. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. McDonald's is everywhere and is loved by everybody. Shit, kids know what McDonald's is and what it looked like and all that shit before they know the ABCs nowadays. Like, yeah. But it don't surprise me. It really don't. Because um, they're not the only people out here that's selling and pushing human meat. They're, they're not the only ones. All of these different chains, everybody, they're all doing it, homie. Watch, you're going to start seeing all of these people drop, all of these companies drop, and do settlements and all of this stuff, and try to keep it under wraps because they're selling human meat. And then you're going to see a lot of rebranding out here. People going to be changing names and doing a bunch of shit. Watch. But people don't even know, when you go to the grocery store, if you're not buying USDA meat, you could be buying human meat. They got cultured and curated meat now. Now, back in the days, cultured meat was considered to be meat that was like bred on a farm and, you know, came from like a farm. That's what people considered cultured meat. Now it's not that. Now cultured meat is meat that's built in a lab from the cells and all that stuff from animals. So, I mean, it's not human meat, but that shit ain't meat. That shit is is, is lab. It's, It's a lab creation. Then the curated meat is meat created from human cells. So, yeah. People don't even know when they go to the grocery store, they don't look at the tabs and look at the shit. They just see it. It looks like a juicy piece of meat. Pause. Hey, but once all of this stuff start coming out and rolling out and people start getting this information, all of these companies are going to just fall off and rebrand. Watch. That's why you got so many of these uh, Mandela effects going on with these companies. Like people are remembering what companies used to be named as or logos used to be. They don't know that most of those companies had a catastrophic situation happen. So they had to do that in order to save the brand. Yeah, like Fruit of the Looms. They had to change and rebrand after they had that big fire or big situation happen when the the chemicals spilled out at their home, um, at their home location, their home site. Like they had a big spill out. I think it was like the 70s or something like that and got a whole state sick. Yeah. And people are still suffering from the the residuals of that now. Shit's crazy. But that's why they had to rebrand or change their logo. Yeah. Shit's crazy. But I would advise y'all now to start winging off the meat. Pause. I know it's hard. You know what I'm saying? But just you got you gotta do it. Like if you gon' like if you can't give it up, at least do it like maybe once or twice a week. Don't do it so much. You know what I'm saying? Because uh nowadays the meat ain't meeting. Pause. Now I wanna hear from y'all. I wanna know your thoughts, your feelings, all of that. Like how do you feel about this human meat stuff going on in this world, man? How y'all feel about that? Drop it in the comments.